Okay, so we're now we're approximately zero psi. So it knows that our fuel pressure right now is at 50 psi because it's reading it from our fuel pressure sensor here at this uh, RPM and this load. And then it's calculating our injector pressure differential here at approximately the same. So our injector flow rate here is in uh, cc per minute of 845 cc per minute. So this is going to be essentially like we found in that first example where we told it the base pressure at 50 psi and then it knew the flow rate uh, because it was assuming a one-to-one -one ratio. In this case, we're directly seeing our fuel pressure actually reading from the sensor instead of just giving it a fixed uh, base pressure and then letting it assume the actual injector pressure differential. So let's going to see what happens here and why this is really cool and why this is going to uh, be really useful in tuning um, and it can help us uh, greatly in case there's a problem with your fuel pressure while we're tuning or while we're running our car hard. So let's go ahead and raise our manifold pressure up here. Let's go up to 10 PSI boost. So we're going to assume in this example here that we start going up in boost and for some reason let's just say our vacuum line pops off of our fuel pressure regulator uh, and we're on this return style system. That would make our fuel pressure not increase at that one-to-one -one ratio. So what happens in this situation using this calculated uh, fuel pressure from our sensor? So we can see that our fuel pressure is at 50 psi. It has not increased because in this case we've popped the line off the regulator because it wasn't fixed down, or whatever the case may be. Now our injector pressure differential automatically changes here to around 40 psi. Because we're not increasing our fuel pressure at a one-to-one -one ratio to our manifold pressure, our injector pressure differential will drop. That will immediately uh, show that we have a lower flow rate out of our injector and immediately add more injector pulse width. So if we look here, let's just assume everything is the same. Let's go ahead and assume we connect the vacuum line on and we're just running the engine at the same point here. So let's go ahead and connect our vacuum line and bring our fuel pressure back up and watch what happens to our injector flow rate. Okay, so we can see here that our injector pressure differential is now at around 50 because our fuel pressure here is at 60. And that's what it should be if we're gonna go and match our manifold pressure. So if this was uh, 10 PSI, if we're here at 10 PSI, approximately 10 PSI, our fuel pressure should have raised 10 PSI from our base pressure of 50 in order to maintain that same injector pressure differential. And we can see here that our actual flow rate here is now 830, which is approximately correct. And we can see that our injector pulse width here is 13.1 uh, fuel delivery to achieve our air fuel. Now, 